Israel insists it is facilitating the movement of goods into the Gaza Strip. Colonel Elad Gorin is in charge of the team monitoring and coordinating humanitarian aid deliveries. He says Israel is working to expand delivery and is attempting to do so by adding resources and having staff work longer hours. Israel is doing everything it can to mitigate the humanitarian consequences of Hamas' action in the Gaza Strip. The passage behind me leads to the gate to the Gaza Strip. Before the war, there were about 70 food trucks a day going from Kerem Shalom through that gate into Gaza. Now there's about 110 humanitarian aid trucks a day taking food into the Gaza Strip. In case of who is getting it, there are thousands of people. Hamas is not with uniform. There are civilians. We are moving trucks to the civilians, and the civilians are getting the food, and hopefully that will be a, a continuous process, mostly with the UN organizations and not other. Oh, and I hope that the UN will take responsibility over their uh, steps. Gorin says there's no limit on the amount of aid allowed in and blames any problems on the other side of the crossing. While we could see trucks entering and dropping off goods, piles of supplies waited to be distributed. Often, there is hundreds of trucks worth of aid waiting on the Gazan side to be picked up. That is the biggest obstacle to aid reaching Gaza in need. Even so, Gorin tells CBN News aid groups keep asking for more without any specifics on how much is truly needed. Just keep saying more, and it doesn't matter if we will pass 1,000 trucks here and they won't be able to collect it, they will say that there is a humanitarian crisis. Israel maintains 99% of the trucks go through after an inspection. The rest are held back to remove any questionable or harmful materials. The trucks that are rejected are sent back for repackaging because they contain materials that Hamas can use for their terrorist activities. These problems aren't new. In 2016, CBN News saw the complex realities of operating the Kerem Shalom crossing. Ami Shaked, coordinator at the time, told us they lived and worked under constant threat of attack. This crossing point have a bad history with attacks. In 2008, it was totally destroyed by attack of Hamas groups. In 2012, he was attacked by Jihad Global from Egypt, and Egypt is not far away from here, it's 100 meters. And between these things, he was attacked by rockets and mortars from Gaza side. Shaked also revealed how attempted smuggling of materials for Hamas existed back then. I can tell you that uh, in the last months, months we kept here uh, two kinds of important chemicals, Let's say that they're enough for 5,000 rockets. Israel also claimed Hamas would divert concrete shipments meant for rebuilding Gaza to construct the terrorists' attack tunnels. We found our cement on tunnels underground inside Gaza. Despite the obstacles, Israel says it remains committed to getting humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza as the conflict with Hamas continues. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Kerem Shalom Crossing, Israel.